Hey guys, how y'all doing today? My name is Franchise Fanatic, and welcome back to the channel. And so, if you guys, is another Call of Duty video. Uh, yeah, we're playing Black Ops 4 today. We're also on the map Summit, which is a uh, Black Ops uh, reimagining, I guess. Uh, now, there was a big, big, big news drop today for Call of Duty 2020, or COD, Black Ops Cold War, Black Ops 5, Black Ops freaking whatever the heck you want to call it, Barney Warfare. There's millions and millions of names going around, but... Uh, today, certain COD YouTubers, I technically am a COD YouTuber, but I'm not famous, so of course they're not going to send me crap, but a bunch of the super famous guys got these Call of Duty boxes, like these big big wooden boxes, to open up today, August 10th, at a certain time, and they opened it, and I watched Chaos, and I watched some other dude do it, and uh, Noah something or other, I don't watch these guys regularly, I just wanted to see what was in the box. But, what was really interesting about it is that, you know, there's... Inside the box, we're all like, oh, what's it going to be? You know, is it going to be like, uh, it's going to be, I don't know, the game is going to be beta codes, the trailer, you know, is Jesus in the thing? You know, it, we, it, there was a million things. And the biggest thing was, well, there was a freaking projector, you know, like those old tiny projectors from like Enemy down. a really long, I guess the Cold War era, a uh, long, long, long time ago. They had those and they had like these little, if you saw it, you know what I mean, but for those of you that didn't, inside, like I said, projector and there were a bunch of these slides, kind of like you would look at like a, a scientist type thing. And in the slide was a, uh, well, a bunch of slides. And in that, you saw different parts of, uh, like, grid coordinates and uh, map images. And one of the maps, uh, you know, that was shown was this map, Summit. And uh, I was watching Noah do it, and him and his buddies, I watched it for, like, freaking four hours. UAV standing by. And, man, was it worth it, because, Jesus, it was so fucking cool. So what they had is they had the, uh, they were in this map, and I'm going to show you, this is going to be my thumbnail, too. Uh, I am playing with bots, so I don't want to freaking die, but basically they had Paris, Moscow, Tokyo, New York, and London, all these times. They had to decipher all these different, not just them, but, you know, everyone who got the box. Darn it. They had to kind of get rid of all these different elements, and they're like, oh, you know, what are we going to, what are we going to do? And it took a while, uh, but it was really fun to watch them, you know, kind of do their thing. And it turns out these things had to do with it. I just died, damn it. But those things, you see those those pictures? I'll try to go to it again. But basically, they found them, and they did all this grid work, and it turns out one of them was like a, a bunch of different codes. And they went on to, figures, they went on to Call of Duty Warzone, which is the, of course, Modern Warfare Battle Royale, and uh, they they were going to the bunkers and all that, and I never played Warzone, because I play strictly offline. These idiots don't add uh, offline capability. Damn it! Offline capability, so it's really hard to do that. Um, but, long story short, they went into Warzone, they couldn't get anything. Uh, so they ended up doing, it was, to sum it all up, there's a bunch of weird, like, chess terms and all that, like, really a bunch of weird terms and they basically got these this image here and this image here are different coordinate grids in a way that they got and they had to kind of mix them up and put that red dot onto that red dot with these codes and it was a whole freaking thing really i mean it was a you know the whole like terms of like the original black ops like one i was very much you know the numbers mason what do they mean type shit you know i mean that that's really what this was and it was really a kind of kind of infuriating and a little bit of a waste of time honestly but it was still kind of cool that you know, Treyarch had everyone on this big-ass Easter egg code, and it was actually pretty cool when you think about it. Um, but one of the things that kind of made a lot of sense is once they get these coordinates here, they had to input all these codes on the bunkers and all that, and it turns out these guys were overthinking it a little too much. But the big code was pawn... ...was pawn meets pawn. I don't want to say it when these guys are talking in the game. Pawn meets pawn. And uh, it was a whole freaking thing, and it turns out they basically go to... Uh, some guy, I think, typed in Pawn Meets Pawn or something. He did something on the, uh, you know, on Google, like on a website, and it actually took you to a website titled PawnMeetsPawn.com, and it's a freaking, I'll link the website in the description. It's literally a, like an old-style Black Ops 1 TV. Uh, along with, uh, what else do they have here? They had, uh, I'm just trying to, stop, nope, I'm trying to talk. Who's shooting at me? Whatever. They had a huge thing where, uh, you know, basically, it was like a TV, and they had a recording thing. You can click on the website. I'm not going to try to describe it to you. But it was uh, pretty cool, you know what I mean? So, again, that will be in the description below if you want to go check that out. Uh, it looks awesome. And the whole reason, if you've seen the whole thing, of like, oh, it's, it's August 14th at 12 and all that. Basically, that little recorder, that VHS type thing, uh, said, uh, if you look at it for a few seconds, it says... 8-14, so August... Ooh, I saw that. Look at that. 
No stop, August 14th, which is this upcoming Friday, and 12 o'clock. So I don't think that's going to be 12 at midnight, I think it's 12 noon. Uh, but holy crap, man, I mean, this took forever for these guys to find, you know, Noah and, and Chaos and all the, you know, all the big wigs uh, did it. And, you know, I don't really, okay, I don't really watch them. Uh, but it was still really fun to see, you know what I mean? I, I think it was fun. Um... But at the same time, I'm like, ooh, you know, what's what's going to happen here? But it looks awesome. It really does. You know, we're finally getting news on August 14th. I don't know what we're getting. It could be something stupid. It could be a actual reveal. You know, it could be a trailer. I mean, I'm assuming it's going to be a trailer and a, uh, a release date and all that. Um, but it looks really, you know, it looks really interesting. So if you guys are new, essentially, like I said, they got a box. They did some thinking. Took a while. They used these two things here, along with some grid coordinates on all these areas, and they found out the whole chest thing, like Bish, which they thought was witch, or this. Thought it was like a, mis a misspelling, but no, like Bish. Bish, you were here. It was like a chest thing in the Cold War era with the U U uh, U.S. and Germany or whatever. It was it's freaking weird. Um, but they did it, and again, uh, it takes you to a website that again is linked in the description. Pawn meets pawn. August 14th, uh, yeah, August 14th, which up this upcoming Friday, we will be getting some Black Ops Cold War news. We don't know if it's actually called Black Ops Cold War. Again, there was that whole Dorito Mountain Dew leak thing. I'm assuming it is real. I don't think Mountain Dew and Doritos partnering with Call of Duty can just F it up and, you know, completely get it wrong. Uh, but still, at the same time, I'm looking forward to it. I really am. Uh, you know me, I play every Call of Duty that has offline bots. This one does. Everyone has had bots since Black Ops 1, except for Modern Warfare 3, but, you know, big deal. Um, this one, if, again, uh, for my channel, if you guys are actually wanting to see uh, gameplay and all that on my channel, I will. However, if Black Ops Cold War, freaking Black Ops, whatever the heck you want to call it, if it does have offline bots, meaning that I can play the game offline like I'm doing now, I will play the game, buy the game, do it for YouTube. If it's online only, which I don't think it will be, but we never know until the day of or whatever, because their their marketing sucks with the offline ca uh, crowd community. Uh, I will not buy it, but I'm assuming I will, because again, every single one has had bots uh, for a pretty long time here. Now, Modern Warfare 2019 does have bots. However, I don't have it on the Xbox. I have it on the PS4. That's why I can't film. That's why I'm playing. Pl I mean, I'm playing Black Ops 4 because this is you know this is the, the summit map. But still, it's like, why am I not in the combat zone? That was weird. But yeah, I'm just going to really, you know, keep it kind of short again. Uh, if you saw the stream, that was cool. If not, like I said, it was really cool, you know, to see these projectors and see the, uh, you know, these guys working it out. And I was helping, you know, I wasn't helping, but, you know, I was, I wish I was helping. I, me and, you know, the chat and all that were discussing and telling him, no, do that, do that. So it was kind of cool that I was involved. Um, but still, oh, yep, I had a great time doing it. Um, again, August 14th, guys, we're going to be getting some call, uh, COD 2020 news. Again, I'm assuming it's going to be, uh, like, you know, um, a release date, so probably, like, a campaign detail, or maybe, uh, uh, I'm assuming they're gonna have a release date, too, but it's kind of funny, you know, oh, come on, that, Jesus Christ, um, <laughs> Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga does not have any news, it's been over a year and a half, and freaking COD 2020 gets, like, everything in one day, we already know when it's happening, it's gonna be effing crazy. It just sucks. But anyway, uh, speaking of LEGO Star Wars, really quick, uh, if you don't want... Uh, that's, that's, this is basically the gist of the COD 2020. We're getting news August 14th, 12 o'clock. Uh, link for the website is in the description below. It's a ton of fun. And uh, I think this is really clever marketing by them. It's a bit of a waste of time, you know, the day. Uh, but it still was fun as well, so I, I enjoyed it. Anyway, on to LEGO Star Wars for just a brief second. Um... James Anwell, you probably know, but I'm going to tell you this again. Uh, James Anwell, who's a game dev for TT Games, have said... Uh, one of my buddies on Twitter was saying, Hey, you know, are we going to be getting news soon? How the hell did I not die? And uh, they said, oh yeah, well, you know, because basically in May, I think it was May 4th, uh, when they revealed the cover art, they said, oh, news is coming in the summer. And this one guy was like, hey, uh, what is your definition of summer? Is it, you know, June through August? Is it June through July or September? You know, what, 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 what is it? And uh, he said summer ends in three weeks. And this was on the 6th. We're already in the 10th. So uh, we have a lot of, uh, we got a lot of stuff coming up, guys. We got Watch Dogs Legion. We got COD 2020 on August 14th. We got Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. Basically, James confirming that we're getting news before the end of this month, August. 
So that's something too. Again, guys, it's gonna be freaking crazy. Again, stick right here if you want COD 2020 news. Um, again, I will be covering news. However, uh, if I find out, Wasted no damn boy, if it has um, you know offline bots, I will definitely buy it and play it and record it and all that. Um, because I did skip out last year with Modern Warfare because it was PS4. But I am going to get this one on Xbox One if, again, there are offline bots. But yeah, then we got LEGO Star Wars Skywalker Saga. Hopefully getting news uh, very soon. Down. Roughly before the end of the month. I mean, that's what James... Unless James is just completely screwing us over. The devs kind of do that a lot. They do kind of mess with us. Um, but anyway, we'll have to see how that goes. But still, man, COD, this news has been crazy, I'll tell you. It has been absolutely outstanding. These things have been going crazy. Oh man, it's, it was such a fun ride, you know, watching this shit and just seeing what happens. It was it was a lot of fun for sure, you know, watching all these people put in their hard work and effort to decode such a cryptic message about chess. You know what I mean? Like, I swear to God, they're gonna call it Call of Duty Chess Block or Chess Ops. You know what I mean? It's like, what does chess have to do with it? But again, it's still it's it's fun. Uh, I'm gonna end the video right here. Again, a little bit of Lego Star Wars news. But mostly this was COD 2020. Again, August, uh, I can't even talk. August 14th, we will see news August 14th at 12. Hopefully, again, uh, I will be doing some uh, work, as I always do, to see if there is offline bots. If I do get confirmation of that, I will confirm. I doubt they'll tell me crap, but if they do, hey, why not? So anyway, I'm going to end it here. Again, these things were the key to it all. So thank you guys, and we will see you in the next video. Here we go, 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 and... Uh-oh.